This is Life as a High School. Get it at otfi.com slash empanada. <laughs> Damn crickets dope. Life is a high school. I'm going to attend it all semester long. Life is a high school. I'm going to be high while I'm doing this too. <laughs> This one empanada, the same empanada I get, I got five years ago, seven years ago. Like, I just love paying five dollars for a single empanada, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's beef, and it's definitely been sitting in a roasty bin for a few hours. It's a high school. You can cheat at both of them too. And I just want to like to me, it's just time travel. Life is a high school. Teachers fucking your girlfriend still. <laughs> Hold on. Hey! Shut up! <laughs> oh! Oh my god, all is right in the world. I've come home, back to roost. I'm here in my isolated chamber of uh, hermetically sealed aloneness. It's Night Attack, bringing you the best of the worst of the internet ever since 1776. I'm Brian Brushwood in Austin, Texas. Joining me is my BFF in OAK. It's J-R-Y, Justin Robert Young. How are you doing, sir? Man, you have a room with like four people. How do you have the hermetically sealed room of aloneness? Mm, I, all, all I know is I looked at, I came home, I came home, I looked at my calendar, and there's bupkis. A month of bupkis. And I got nothing but a full-time job. To, 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 to eat healthy and answer emails. That's what I do. I wake up. Uh, I, I might also play Hearthstone. Also might watch Mindhunter. Outside of that, no other jobs. Man, it's- I'll tell you what. I'm glad that Night Attack slots in after Mindhunter. <laughs> that there is an, with nothing on the calendar, we're getting down past Mindhunter. And then we're here tonight and, and whenever you download this on the podcast of your choice. Yeah, see, see, you normally you would be right, but but not right because we have an announcement to make. We get to finally share yeah. with, the, with the people of the world our exciting big old fat news. Uh, so, ladies and germs. We are broadcasting on twitch.tv slash night attack. Uh, it is a place where you can go and watch us every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific time, 10 p.m. Eastern time. However, over the four weeks beginning, was it November 7th? It's all November, but it's all four Tuesdays of November and also the first Tuesday of December. Yeah, I of just December. saw that bonus Tuesday. I didn't even know why we got a bonus Tuesday, but I, was, I, was, yeah. I, was, I saw a picture of Oprah some, some and the, I'm like, yeah. I got a car. Or bees, uh, depending right. on which gif I look at. So, but, Justin. Let, yeah, let's say what we're doing before we get into how we found out that we were doing it. So we are going November. to be on the front page of Twitch. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, this is a, a big deal. It's a gigantic uh, opportunity for us to really uh, expand our our listenership. This is going to be the most eyeballs that have ever been watching us live at, at any time uh, for four weeks in a row. And... Uh, Man, I'll tell you what, I'm 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 excited. I'm super pumped for it. Dude, I'll tell you what, man, uh being on the front page of Twit, that's a popular tech site. No, Brian. Uh, no, 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 Brian, 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 Brian. We used to work at a place called Twit. Yeah, yeah. Now we work at a place now or sorry, we are just on a platform called Twitch. So it's it's the same thing but with a C H. Oh, but uh but this but but uh <laughs> Just, I'm sorry, I wanted to do this little gag. I was wondering where you were going to go. No. I, I realized there was no, it, it was, I, I, I saw a double black diamond. I immediately started skiing down and I stopped. I was like, I shouldn't be here. And I walked back up the hill. Uh, so no, this is huge. This is gigantic news. And, and thank you to everybody at, at Twitch that has recognized this show as something that is worthy of, of the front page. They're uh, really serious about growing their, content uh that we are the podcast content that's non-gaming related and and uh, they're putting their money where their mouth is putting us right there on the front yeah man uh this is going to be huge and so uh this is one of the things that we had had uh, uh, hoped in our hearts would come true in that um doing more stuff on twitch would yield us a platform where we would get discoverability we get the chance to reach out and make friends with uh, uh with people who already get what we're about um, and, and hot damn, if this isn't it, man, look, yeah, yeah, we're, we're a world domination cult and every so often we have to do a bake sale in order to get more people in so they could be indoctrinated and they can eventually become mind slaves to us and we could take over the world. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, have to, I, I did, oh, did I say too much? That was uh, no. You you didn't say uh, you didn't say enough. And if you have any problem with that, red uh, envelope, red envelope. <laughs> you no longer have a problem with it. <laughs> I didn't realize you guys were just pinky in the brain. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it's, it's taken us a while. We're 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 more like pinky and the pinker one. <laughs> so yeah. like a pinky and the pinker. <laughs> uh, well, here's the big news: is that uh, uh, we're gonna try to have some fun guests, uh, people that we've uh, already uh, has been on the show and and we know is a great time. We're gonna try to bring in. Got a few ideas on people to bring in uh, uh, that have not been on the show or haven't been on the show in a very, very long time. But here's what we really want is we need to know we have an idea internally of kind of what our go to absolute. We got to do it for an audience that's never seen us before kind of bits are. But uh, we are open to what the chat realm has to say uh, in any form that you'd like to do it, including the chat room right now. Go to our discord, email us. Uh, uh, whatever you need to do, we are we are really really pumped to kind of do a a introductory uh, lesson for for a bunch of people. Oh that are, wow! That are I'm already seeing calls for Ali Spagnola to come and join us and do her full power hour. Oh, God. <laughs> I think you yeah. should mention that because I actually asked her about that this weekend and. Oh, she's for it. If anything, I pulled back after I remember that the last time we did a full Ali Spagnola power hour, it ended with us slurringly burned, burning all of the bridges we had previously made. Yeah, so no, like, speaking of which, I, I, I've been thinking, like, man, there's a lot of bridges all around us. I'm kind of messed up over how many bridges there are. I know. You know, just today I saw a bumper sticker that says, May the bridges you burn light the way. <laughs> Uh, so here we go. Uh, 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 problem solvers are already seeing, which I think that's an absolute. We got to do it. Uh, uh, I think don't get Brody's an absolute. We 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 totally got to do it. Uh, question: Do you think uh, do you think Twitch TV is ready for Blitz Quiz, the world's only call out uh, uh, game show? Oh my! Gosh. Tell you what, we're gonna find out. We're also gonna find out if playing Hitler in a repeated bumper is against the Twitch <laughs> TV. <laughs> <laughs> now wait, do we start a project? Like, I think some of the best things we've done is, well, like, starting a project. That, that's one of the things we talked yeah. about. Like, since we'll have a few weeks, we could do something that we cook up on the first day. And, the, and like, maybe a long-term compliment bomb thing where we can find out where, where it goes over a few weeks. I would love if there was just a place that we could, like, just continue to send stuff. Like, if there was a way that we could find out virtually that we could, like, make a thing physically happen at one place and then just call them every week and just be like, hey, how many of those things did you get? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. And a bunch you, of things. You know, Penny's been doing these like uh, role-playing games on ASI. I won't tell you which one, but like... But, but like I, fantasy role-playing game. Yeah. Like, like, like um, descriptive text-based. Like back, back when I was her age, it would have been a multi-user dungeon. It would have been a, a... I would log in... To uh, and by the way, I took some I took some flack on the Twitters because I was saying like, when's a good time to introduce her to Reddit? And fully two thirds of the universe was like, never. But meanwhile, I'm like, dude, when I was almost fourteen, like Benny, I had seen some creepy ass shit. Yeah. <laughs> and this is pre-internet. This is on <laughs> bulletin board systems. There wasn't even an internet. The internet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, at least not 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 as far as most people knew. But uh, but it's like uh, like at least I would I would have loved to have a tour guide say, hey. This is the jungle. Uh, over here are hyenas, and they're going to want to eat your corpse. Uh, over here are uh, uh, lions that want to eat your corpse. Um, over here are some uh, cute, cute, fuzzy, uh, uh, oh, what's the ridiculously attractive selfie creature? Uh, Quetzalcoatl or something? Oh, the... the, the no, I think Quetzalcoatl is the... The, is the Armageddon, the Mexican yeah, Armageddon. There, 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 there's no, an no, Australian no. Critter, critter that is yeah. uh, ridiculously the, attractive on selfies. Have you seen this thing? Yes. No, the qu qu it starts with a Q U A. It, it, equal, e eco, eco something? No, no, no. It's a Q. Quaka. Quaka. Q U O K K A. Have you seen this, Justin? No, I have not. Oh, oh my God. We're all <laughs> Get flying. ready. We need Look to do a Kickstarter. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are little animals. These yeah. guys. These guys. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's a cute rodent 
Uh, uh, they know, apparently the mo- <laughs> the moment the cameras come out, they come running up and they just love selfies like crazy, and they look amazing. Oh my god, that is that is a ridiculously uh, photogenic rodent. Like I want to be that cute on camera. <laughs> I'm the invisible one. <laughs> well, you, you'll get to move. Uh, <laughs> hey, we're, I, I just announced we're, we're, we said yes to the gig in Australia, so next year we got a chance oh. to go to Australia, <gasps> and you could get. Oh god. <laughs> Bonnie's <laughs> just involuntarily <laughs> orgasming over. Oh, God. I'm not. I have a very different sound, you guys. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> in the chat says, white folks, yet again. <laughs> <laughs> what? You get to take pictures with the rat. That's awesome. <laughs> um, so, uh, hey, I bought a ghillie suit. Uh, okay. All right. All right, so we are. Yeah, all right. There's a, if you want to get your your suggestions for bits that we should do over the next four weeks, then go ahead and get them in. We have Gilly we have, suit. Go ahead. We have an email mail at nightattack.tv. We have a Discord nightattack.tv slash Discord, uh, and we're still we're gonna do night attack court <laughs> on one of these things. Bit.ly slash na court. Brian is doing the take, Trump take thing. Take it from while me, he's the president the, of okay. the United States. And here you is the light. We're gonna get the spotlight back to you. Tribute <laughs> ideas. Uh, all right, <laughs> so you, you bought a ghillie suit, Brian. <laughs> yeah, so Bonnie, Bonnie's all like, uh, hey, so uh, uh, I went to the spooktacular meetings and um, uh, 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 I, I was gone for two weeks. And so everyone just decided I should be in charge of a big finale to the Haunted Trail. And I don't know what to do. And I was like, well, I'll just buy a ghillie suit <laughs> <laughs> and I'll jump out and scare the kids. Do you know what a ghillie suit is, Bonnie? Yeah, but like. Like, so what? You're like, rah, I'm a tree. I mean, it's pretty, it's, uh, well, okay, this is, this is why we're workshopping this. <laughs> no, I would we hope really to need to workshop this. I mean, I, uh, you, you, you scare the kids. You scare the kids. I and had an idea. What? Uh, can I shoot fire at you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> like I come running out and you have a can of WD-40 and a lighter and you just spritz it at me and I burn alive in my ghillie suit. Doesn't seem like something very repeatable. <laughs> I know. We got to have at least four or five of these. But no, no. I was thinking about that little pew 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 thing that you have. The, uh, the pyro mini web pyro. Yeah. Like you sell it on your website. Mm. I don't yeah. know if you still do or not. So we're like, just going to do it like medieval times and be like, to catch come fire. on, foul creature. <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean, I mean uh, if, if you feel like your acting chops are up to the gig. Let's run oh. it. Let's, let, let, let's, let's run oh, it real quick. Let's just run it. So Brian. Burn. The All right, bigger here. burn okay, than hold a on. Real quick, real quick. No, no, no. <laughs> Brian, Brian, you're you're gonna be the monster, sure. right? So we're gonna come in. You're the monster. You are menacing the neighborhood. Uh, and then Bonnie, whenever you feel comfortable, workshop the character in your own head. Uh, you are <laughs> so, right, a powerful so, magician, so, and you are going to banish him. Yeah, the kid. The kids walk mm. in. I hear them chatting. I have my face down in my ghillie suit. Finally, I leap up and I come running in. And I go, Rawr! Okay. That's my line. And, and then I say. Be gone, evil tree. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, all right, hold on. Wait, let, let, let's just workshop it real quick, real quick. Uh, Brian, I'm going to need you to be a little bit more elongated on the on the monster sure. growl. Like, uh, just really give it to me. And then, uh, uh, Bonnie, with a, with some bass in your voice, you have to just have one, like, like be gone. Like, you have to, have to really, like, uh, get the monster's attention uh, 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 before you go into the rest of your incantation. So uh, right. let's go ahead from the top. Right. Brian, right from the top. Here and we go. Here we go. go. Be gone. <laughs> <laughs> there we that go. Good. I'll tell that you what, good. that's the fastest route from point A to point C. <laughs> it's just to eliminate all the other lines and only yell begone. That's fine. That's good. All right. Hey, good work, guys. Good work. I feel like, hey, listen. Jack Frost is not walking through that door. We got Halloween uh, uh, right on the old radar roo. So, uh, uh, let's, so let's get ready. I was wondering right, if I should right. also get like that green face paint uh, and 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 really try to just disguise I think it you up. Should but you should also uh, really create yourself as a bizarre uh, dystopian Oscar the Crouch. Oh, that's like, you uh, should, oh. You 
she'd actually just pop out and be like, this is what a real Oscar looks like. (laughs) Ah, I eat kids. And just ruin ruin Sesame Street for a bunch of uh, small children. I could be like the Maria. She's like, I'm the like lovely uh, matriarch of Sesame Street. Hi, kids. Why don't you come and sit down and learn your ABCs? And and then you turn out to be a stone cold killer when a ghillie suit shows up. With, like, yeah, and then be like, and... I'm in a, I'm in a, a, a sex murder cult with Oscar, and we're both killing. Like, uh, we're, we're, this is going crazy. Hey, do you think, do you think uh... Oscar, Oscar the Grouch is a veteran? Oh, I'm sorry, we crossed the home. line there. <laughs> uh, oh. Do you think Oscar the Grouch is a veteran that returned home to a woefully inadequate uh, support system? I would say it's either that or uh, just somebody who's like just a, a, a really. Just uh, smarter. Perpetually stepped on by the system, you know, just like, uh, I you know, always, like, I always thought he was. I didn't even know what a veteran was, but as soon as I saw one, I was like, oh, that's Oscar the Crown. <laughs> no, 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 no. Disenfranchised. It's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like he's got his, like, his. F- Flack jacket or whatever they call it with the little patches on. It's just like no. Well, I remember. Okay. Hold on, keep, just keep going. Let her <laughs> oh, dig. Oh man. Let the girl dig. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I don't know what. This is some trauma for you. Uh oh. Fifth grade in fifth grade, like I sat outside of the classroom for most of the time because we had this like traumatized veteran who taught the class, the math class, and he would always tell these stories, and the boys loved it because they're like, "Yeah, tell us some more stories." He's like, "Let me tell you." Back in Nam. And then you tell these like disgusting stories about shooting monkeys in the yeah. trees because they thought they were. And then he was just like, yeah, so we slaughtered the whole tribe. And I'd be like, ah, mom, I don't like this class. I'll, t- I'll tell you what, man, this is, really... this is as good a time as any for me to give yeah. a, a big uh, thumbs thumbs up to uh, the, the Ken Burns Vietnam documentary is extraordinary. Like, yeah. um, uh, it is an episode. What? What's going on? What the what fuck? We are fucking moving at light speed on this episode. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that we have, we have, we are fucking going. We are sprinting to the end of this marathon. Like it is, it is fucking. Like we went from uh, gigantic opportunity to uh, 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 two other transitions to I bought a ghillie suit to let's workshop a new uh, uh, bit that's happening to Oscar the Grouch to Oscar the Grouch was a veteran to I've always known Oscar the Grouch is a veteran to a solemn uh, uh, recommendation. You all should really watch the Ken Burns documentary (laughs) Vietnam. No joke here. I just really think that it's an important piece of art. Patreon.com slash night attack. That's the place where you can get lightning fast journeys right through podcast heaven. Holy cow. Why don't you join the nearly 1,351 of you beautiful bastards who keep us loud, live, and independent every Tuesday night. Uh, You guys have made magic occur, and we like to return a little bit of the magic to you every week as we pull a little shenanigan we like to call. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. Thanks so much. for the buck, fucko! <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, this is a very special time for two reasons. Not only are we going to call out one of our new Patreons, uh, one of the folks who either up their pledge or a new pledger, but it's also the time we go full on... Cam, cam girl person cam uh, yeah cam, cam, it doesn't have to be girls cam cam, to be girls. Uh, cam uh cameron cam the citizen cam, uh, uh, cam, cameron uh cameron diaz we go full cam, cameron diaz cam newton cam, uh, uh, uh cam twist the we, old software <laughs> we do uh uh good old uh, uh ferris bueller's friend cameron we sit cam in the car Britain. and just punch it and say uh i, I, I hate you um <laughs> That classic Ferris Bueller line. I oh man, you. that's a great line. Just I hate you. Uh, Does he say that? Or no, that? Probably. I don't it's know. Cla- I don't it's know. the classic line, Bonnie. It's the classic <laughs> line. He's wearing the uh, Red Wings jersey, and he's in that like Japanese style uh, uh, car garage. And, and next thing you know, he just says, "I hate you." 
<laughs> so, our, so, so at any rate if you guys <laughs> subscribe don't forget that you can steal money right out of Jeff, Jeff Bezos's pocket yeah uh, if yeah. you're a name champ person uh, oh, 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 oh do we have to go in order oh well, I, th- I thought during this whole time we could uh, well because um, you guys we have expli- I have explicitly gotten orders to separate them so oh, that we have the sub box I see you okay okay, okay. I, 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 I got it got it um, <clears throat> well I'm sure this is this person's given name I'm sure I, I'm turning into Frank Underwood. Oh, hello there. Oh. <laughs> I do believe this must be the person's actual name because only a real person would be named Laundry, Laundry Scent. Scent. <laughs> Laundry Scent. Oh, Laundry Scent. What What are you doing? Is it the the dishes? Laundry Scent. Laundry Scent. Laundry Scent. Laundry Scent. What? what? There was a racist ad in the 70s. Ancient Chinese secret. Jeez, oh, why are you bringing why? that Laundry up? scent. It was the laundry scent. Yeah. That, right? Yes. Oh, laundry scent. Are you an ancient Chinese <laughs> secret? Or- yes, laundry <laughs> scent. You remember that racist ad? <laughs> yes, do you? Punchline if you didn't. Also, also if you did. <laughs> Glape scent. Laundry scent. <laughs> oh, now you're mixing glape. <laughs> Which was that episode? I'm, re- I'm, reading, I'm reading the chat. Yeah, don't do that. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. They're good. Laundry, laundry scent. scent. Laundry <laughs> scent. <laughs> Thank you, laundry <laughs> scent. You're the best. Uh, of course, if you want to go ahead and up your pledge, patreon.com slash night attack. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You get early access to the pre-show and post-show and... You are the bomb. And also, thank you to all of our many subscribers here at Twitch. Vethic42, Curtis LaRock, That Punk one Debbie Scott is one Yabs, Zeus and Hera. Wow. I didn't know that they hey man, shared an we account. We go way back. Uh, just Sean and your dad plays. Thank you, everybody, for all the subs and the money. Fucko. Sub it up. We love money, baby. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> thank More you, your man, fuck. Jeff. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Uh oh shit! Did Robert Guillaume die? Um, uh, is I don't know. Yeah. I mean, according to the chat, which is my Why one source of thank news. Thank you, W. Scottis one. No, keep wondering if uh, Robert Guillaume died. Okay. I'll, I'm just no, I'll, seriously, I'll just do Robert that. Guillaume. Go, he was talk about the legacy of Robert Guillaume. Yeah, well, well, I always enjoyed him in Benson, and uh, and he played that monkey. Thank in... you, G. Reco Nine. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, no. But you remember he was in he was in the Lion King as well, and he 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 had this fantastic uh, Shakespearean presence. It was. Thank uh... you, Babcat. Two hundred and fifty bits. Thank you. I mean, what a what a all the way back to to Soap and Beyond. I uh, I mean, he was uh, truly one of uh, the most gifted actors that I had the privilege to grow up with. It truly means a lot to me. Also, the Ken Burns Vietnam documentary, just, I mean, just fantastic <laughs> stuff. The music licensing alone, worth the price of admission. It's a uh, hot dog. Uh, yeah, you ever hear the Beatles in a documentary? Not until now you haven't. Uh, 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 thank you, Jay Baker, <laughs> Tony. <laughs> 200 bits, thank you. <sighs> Then he died. He died. Robert Guillaume died. Oof, okay. We are uh, almost out of Passed it. away. Almost... Thank you, your man Jeff won again. <laughs> Thank you. You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what really happens? Yeah. Like, I you're mean, so cute. Uh, yes, like, right. I could never get away with that. <laughs> so I'm just Violating too? Thank you. All right, no, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. All right, here. Brian, you play the same monster from earlier, but Bonnie, this time you're a cam girl and you tell the monster that he's <laughs> okay, so right, cute. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Brian yeah. and go. Go away. No, you're telling me so cute. Yeah, no, yeah, oh. that's not going to make you any money. <laughs> no, you can't. Yeah, what the you're fuck, right. buddy? You had one line. <laughs> Jesus, just say you're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> take two, Sorry. take two, real quick, real quick. <laughs> take two, take two, All right, take two. Uh, Brian, Sorry. Brian, this time maybe a little grosser. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're so cute. You spoke it through gritted teeth. <laughs> So scared. Thank you, I'm Ace Hasley. I don't like this anymore. This feels like I'm auditioning for Hollywood. Oh, jeez, I'm a producer. <laughs> All right, Ooh. calm down, Rob. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Got too real. <laughs>
Uh, hey, man, uh, the, normally what happens in the second act of this fine show is that we play a little bit of a game. Uh, Bryce, do we got a game? Uh, we do. Uh, this I, I, I feel really bad because I don't have the person who put this in the doc that we had. Yeah, no, initially. feel real bad. In fact, you know what? I think you need some help feeling bad. Chat room, let's help Bryce feel bad. Yeah. Uh, all right. So here we go. Uh, 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 Brian, so you're going to start as the monster. And, and Bonnie, you say something mean about Bryce. OK, here we go. And uh, three, two, one. Uh, Brian, go. He's not as tall as he thinks he is. What? No, you're the monster. It's you're the just monster doing the monster so voice. Oh, I'm just that. <laughs> listen to the show. Just listen. In the monster voice. I missed that part. Yeah. It's fine. We're doing great. Okay, we're doing okay. great. Hey, man, I think we're really going to have a good month. Good. I mean, being on the front page, we're going to just tear it up. It's going to be at amazing. Least at least we're going in at our top form, which is what uh, we really uh, should make us really all good the play. rust out of the wheel. <laughs> One day, we'll just be nice and warmed up. Uh, so someone, someone sent in this idea, a startup spelling bee, where are they now segment. Uh, where we go and look up what happened to the startups that were in the startup spelling bee. Oh my God! So uh, this is a little bit of a twist on that, but this is where are they now? Sold which to is a Fitbit. Visual bit, all but... of them. <laughs> well, <laughs> they all sold to Fitbit. <laughs> well, okay, I, that's uh, gonna make half of this game go by very fast. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you the name of a uh, a startup. Some of them have been in the startup spelling bee. Some of them have not. And you guys have three options. So all you have to do is tell me one of the three options. They either shut, they either shut down, mm. they either pivoted, mm. or they were acquired. Shut down, pivoted, acquired, yeah. or acquired. And, and, and pivoted for those of you who are not assholes uh, <laughs> uh, means that they changed what they were doing. So they were like a business with money that was not making enough money. So they're like, okay, well, we, we used to sell ducks mm -hmm. and now we're going to be a financial institution. Yeah. I thought you were going to sell and, something that rhymes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that makes We money. used to sell yeah. ducks. <laughs> now, 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 we sell. We now we're in legitimate truck. prostitution. <laughs> uh, and Bonnie, you can even play in on this if, you, if you'd like. Yeah. Whee! Uh, so here we go. So I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the name. I'm not gonna spell it out because uh, if you get it right, I'm gonna let you. Uh, oh, bonus. We'll, 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 we'll figure spell, out a, yeah. a spelling thing for for this. Okay. But I want you. To, I'm gonna tell you guys about Quixie. Mm, Quixie. I didn't okay. Remember that yep. One. Yep. Uh, it was a mobile search app for, or sorry, a mobile app search engine. Quixie. So we'll, we'll mm. go down the horn, Brian. So did it survive? Did it pivot? Or did it get acquired? Uh, uh, no, none of them survived. All of them have had just one of these. They either shut down, ah, they pivoted, or they were acquired by another company. Uh, gotcha. I'm going to say they have pivoted. Let's and see. I'm going to call my shot and say they've pivoted to uh, 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 trackable produce. What is trackable? Tra trackable. Trackable produce. Tra tra yeah, the problem with trackable oh. produce is, uh, I mean, you don't know where that banana went. <laughs> you know oh my God, are you being like really naughty? Where Jesus, did that that's quite a leap. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, Bonnie. Do you want to explain the I, double entendres? I don't entendres know, I don't know which is weirder: the fact that you immediately went there, or that there was subtle approval underneath ah. your voice as you said so. Well, right, listen, we're gonna try it. I know, I know. We're really we're going to the well very often here, but we're gonna try it one more time. Brian, you're the monster. Uh, Bonnie, you just come in with. Uh, do you know where that banana went? Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, three, two, one, go, Brian. Trackable bananas! Do you know where that banana went? Uh. That's an ad. That <laughs> nailed it. That was great. Put the, put, put the website on there. That's one. All right, so, Brian, you're saying pivot. Yep. Justin, what do you think happened to the mobile app searching engine Quixie? I believe it was acquired. I believe it was by the uh, acquired banana by DuckDuckGo. <laughs> by DuckDuckGo. All right. Mm. <laughs> uh, Bonnie, what do you think happened to Quixie, the mobile app search engine? I think they rotted on the vine. <laughs> <laughs> Not unlike a certain a banana. banana. No, I think they, I think they, uh, Quixied. Pixie quit seed. Oh, they quit, quit seed. seed. They shut down. They shut down. They shut down. Okay, got okay. it. Okay. I just want to make sure oh, I, 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 I had I quick. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Bonnie got sick. She got a fever. She could only speak in puns now. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> she could. Might be difficult for her to get it all out. <laughs> Initially, I, I thought she said like quick seed, like you know, <laughs> yeah. just quick you know, seed. on the quick, a quick you know seed funding round. Of course. <laughs> seed funding. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's I, really does good. That, does that I mean like I'm, that. An, I'm an angel investor? I can introduce myself. <laughs> I know. And I'll tell you what, it seems like Harvey Weinstein invested heavily in plants. <laughs> Oh. All right, uh, Quixie. <laughs> in uh, let me make sure I get the date on this right. In March of this year, shut down. Quixie uh, just did not. Hey, it turns out no one needs another mobile app search engine. So that's but, Bonnie. Bonnie got a point on that. Yeah, GG, Bonnie. Bonnie's over there doing the jitterbug. <laughs> great vision. Look at that. There we great go. Doing right. uh, you know, shaking uh, shaking her hips for the boys back home, uh, uh, or the boys overseas rather. Ah, hips. Uh, now, Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie, now I'll You're give you so it. Cute. <laughs> Bonnie, I'll give you an extra point if you can spell Quixie. Oh, oh. oh. Yes! oh yes. Now we're See, talking Quixie. It's funny because I couldn't spell in real life, but this I was doing pretty good at. Mm. Let me see. He's calling her shot. Quits. Quitsy. Quixie. <laughs> Quick scene. You do have to be able to say the name. <laughs> Quick hey, uh, um, Bryce, can you use it in a sentence? Oh, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Uh, awesome. I just downloaded Quixie. <laughs> okay. Q U. Okay. I. Mm -hmm. C K. I, I think it's quick. Quick. S E E. Quick C. Quick like I C. see quickly. Oh, I see. Mm. Q U O K K A. They take ridiculously good selfies. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Bonnie, your answer of uh, Q U I C K S E E is incorrect. Oh. Sorry about that. It is Q U I X E Y. Mm. See, they would have been a hit if they chose my spelling. Of quick C. C. I believe C. that you believe that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. You're so cute. <laughs> ah, wow. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, Justin, I came you... home to. <laughs> Go ahead. It's, but, uh, no, I feel like you were going to launch into your whole version of the Monster Mash. <laughs> <laughs> It is going to be that time of year where we have to watch that Mr. Show sketch in the after show. The uh, the Monster Parties one. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, here you go. Uh, Justin, you're going to start with this one. Masquerade. <laughs> what did they do? Uh, yeah, what, what was what was up with Masquerade? A masquerade uh, worked on video editing, filters, stickers for mobile video. Uh, mobile video has gotten uh, a, a bit of a bigger deal. I'm going to say that they were acquired uh, by uh, uh, Pets.com. Uh, I'm going to say they pivoted. Oh, it's Bonnie's turn. Okay. We're going in the round. They I'm didn't gonna... pivot. That was a lie. It was, <laughs> that was brinksmanship. I apologize. I'm going to say they're acquired, too. I'm going to say. Yeah. Who do you think they were acquired by? Facebook. Like I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say they're required to pivot because their old platform was lousy. But meanwhile, the space is exploding. That's why they now do faux tattoos to faces. You just oh. click a tattoo Ooh. and it looks like somebody has damaged on their forehead. Yeah. Oh, okay. that's pretty good. Very they actually just doesn't... sell hot tire irons. <laughs> hot tire irons. <laughs> uh, Brian. You are incorrect. Oh. Oh. Bonnie and Justin, Masquerade was acquired. Oh. Yes. Now, uh, uh, so you're both going to get a point for that. Bonnie, Yeah. because uh, you guessed uh, Masquerade was acquired by Facebook, and Masquerade was acquired by Facebook. Whoa! Oh. 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 Rigged game! <laughs> ah. You're so you so cute. <laughs> Okay, okay, now okay. we're, we're going to... By the uh, way, for everybody who just listened to the show, I feel that there's a real energy that is almost bordering on uncomfortable between the monster and the cam girl. Yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is getting to a point of, like, there is, like, real electricity happening. Right. With Bryce, is, Bryce is packing up at the end of the night and from behind a closed door, he hears... <laughs> oh, you're so cute. But it's happening really quickly. Rawr, so cute. Rawr. Oh, so cute. Ooh, for doofa. <laughs> it is really a modern. It, it, it is a modern tale for our modern age. The monster and the cam girl. So Bonnie, because you got it correct, I want you to give me what you think your spelling of masquerade is. Mask. 
Masquerade. Oh, man. Masquerade. Well, Mas this is, uh, by the way, to take a commanding lead on two questions. Yeah. You could go and. Okay. I'm going to say okay. it's M A S K, like a mask, mm. dash okay. A dash R A I D. Oh, like you're hiding a your Twitch can of rig. Raid. Like, like a raid. everybody's showing up in your yeah. chat room, but nobody's um, admitting what channel they came from. Masquerade. Oh, yeah, what a it's weird a masquerade. Raid. Yeah. Well, which, which, by the way, should be the way we do it. We should. We, that should be our new raid style. Is we raid, but we tell everyone we're from a non-existent <laughs> channel. That's a great yeah, idea. we're gonna sure. continue to have people tell us that we're not doing Twitch right every time. <laughs> <laughs> you think? I don't know. The part of me thinks I would love that. Yeah, no, I bet you would love it. Hey, the Brian day. Brushwood would love this idea. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I have a good idea. He's gonna like that. <laughs> uh, all right, Bonnie, your spelling of masquerade is incorrect. Aww. It is M-S-Q-R-D. Mas what? Mersquid? M-S-Q-R-D. Mersquid. That sounds like wait. something that you would uh, uh, contract in college. I got masquerade. Wait, 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 wait. There are no vowels in that. Right, that yeah. is the thing. No, that that's 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 do. what makes startups tricky. <sighs> they yeah. hate the vowels. They don't like the vowels. No, normally, you can hook them by the vowels, but not with the, <laughs> these startups, man. They're they're running wild and free. Yeah. Okay. All, All right, right, here we go. Bonnie, you're gonna start with this one. Oh, okay. Coinify. Coinify. Now, what Coinify was or is, excuse me, is a cryptocurrency network. They mm -hmm. are they allow you to transfer tra uh, different. Bitcoin currencies between each other. Mm -hmm. Coinify, do you believe Coinify shut down, was pivoted, or was acquired? I say they were acquired. Acquired? Who do you think they were acquired by? By, um... E Corp. No, it will, yeah. I think they were acquired by one of those, uh, like, by Lyft. There we go. My <laughs> oh, geez. Nice. They, Good they, call. They, they got That's together. Crazy. They said, let's make it official. They fist bumped, and then they were part of the Lyft uh, network. All right, Brian, what do you think happened to Coinify? Uh, you know what? A famous citizen, Arlie Ermey, once said, uh, just keep saying pivot. Sooner or later, you'll be right. So I'm going to say they pivoted. All right. What and do you think they pivoted to? A they <laughs> pivoted into actual coins. Act they make oh, wow. novelty coins. By the way, oh. still holding out hope. I, I want I want both of us to have bags of one dollar coins, like just giant bags of one dollar coins to pay for all our drinks and to make bets repeatedly at the next convention. Okay. Uh, uh yeah. No, no, dude. That's uh well, I mean we'll we'll be able to go to Coinify because they've they transferred into that and like commemorative like we all remember when uh, the Beatles came to America, and now you can too in this limited Coinify set, where uh, John—it's fake Beatles history. John is a vampire now, and uh, Paul is a uh, plane, and they ride around solving crimes. So they're Coinify's new fake Beatles history. I, I mean, that, I do remember. This yeah. sounds familiar. Okay. I, I think uh, it was in a documentary. I think called the Yellow Submarine. Ken, Bu Ken yeah. Burns' Yellow Submarine. Yeah, yeah. We really recommend. It. Great piece of work, by the way. You know, he got licensed the Beatles music for the for that. Weird. Ken Burns' yeah. Yellow Submarine. I love. Did you ever see it in a cartoon about a submarine? <laughs> now you have. It's called Yellow Submarine. I love the idea of a commemorative coin set commemorating things that didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. Like 9-11. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. Go to Bonnie. Good Bonnie. Just go to good Bonnie. Black, black, good black Bonnie. Yes. Good, good instinct. Black screen. That's it. We're done for the night. Shut uh, it down. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm a fade to black button. <laughs> Jeez now we're going to stay here until Brian apologizes. No, go back to Black. <laughs> we're we're not going to go back, back until Brian apologizes. I'm sorry. That was. You're sorry for what? I'm sorry for the. Uh, I was attempting to mock the position of truthers because theirs mm -hmm. is a horrific position with which I do not agree. But you said. You're sorry for saying. Uh, well, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm sorry if you were offended. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, no. Truthers, because no. you guys are full of shit. This could be Fuck over you. right Fuck now. You. Uh, no, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bad boy. Bad boy. <laughs> Do you think that we could actually just go black on the front page? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Justin, I don't know if you can follow that. What do you think happened to uh, Coinify? Coinify shut down. Coinify they shut the they shut the front door. <laughs> well, Justin, I have to tell you that you are correct. Coinify shut down. They shut down in January 2016. Uh, now, because you have spelled it, or I'm sorry, because you said it, you got the right answer. Can you spell Coinify? Uh, I'm going to say K-I-O-N-I-F-Y. Coinify. Oh, no, Justin. I don't think you noticed what you did. You got it wrong, buddy. <laughs> and I don't think you meant to. You said K-I-O. It's K-O-I. Oh, like oh wow. Coin. Tell you what. Look at that. That's some Florida fucking learning. K-O-I-N-I-F-Y. Oh, speaking of which, real quick, um, uh, I was saying in the pre-show, Justin, that I enjoyed hearing your version of uh, how everything went at TwitchCon with the fine folks yeah. over at Ice Cream Social. Then uh, I immediately, after hanging up, started playing Ice Cream Social and got another 30 minutes of the other half of the story where they were talking about hanging out with you and all the stuff they <laughs> talked about. Uh, and it was really fun to play the game of when they discussed various people not by name, uh, but, but rather by their predicament, uh, me trying to guess who was who. But uh, the uh, 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 Diamond Scoop mm -hmm. sent in an email, and he ended. He said, uh, "He uh, their tagline, you know, they always say fuck you in the face' to close their emails." He says, "Fuck you in the face until you diaf." But Ooh. Jacob, I guess, wasn't hip to our diaf. Oh, so yeah. as Jacob was reading it, he goes, "Fuck you in the face, face until you daf." <laughs> <laughs> And I rather Dave enjoyed dog. that. <laughs> and, he, and he sold it. Dave. He was like, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Dave. <laughs> it was pretty great. Yeah. Dave, you're uh, No, that's amazing. No, they were they were fantastic at, at uh, TwitchCon. TwitchCon was an absolute blast. And, and uh, I'm, I'm so energized uh, by, by that whole experience. Yeah. All right. <laughs> let's do another round here. Brian. Brian, you're going to start. Yep. Tell me what happened to TBH. TBH? TBH. Do I get to know what TBH stands for? Uh, no, but I can tell you what it is. It is an anonymous teen compliment app. I'll tell you what happened is they got sued out of existence by by Dave Industries for stealing our bit. That's, uh... Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say they're gone. They're, they Dave'd. They Dave'd. They shut down? Yeah. All right. Justin, tell me about TBH. I believe they got acquired. You got acquired? Who do you think they got acquired by? Uh, I think they got acquired by Facebook. You think they got acquired by Facebook? Bonnie, what do you think happened to TBH, the anonymous teen compliment app? I think they got acquired. Yeah? Who do you think they got acquired by? Mm, I think they got acquired by some, like, um... By um, me! Yeah! You're so cute. Sorry. <laughs> I'm Mark Zuckerberg now. <laughs> no, um, buy some high school app. I don't know. High school kids. School. High school app. I, oh, no, no, no. What, what would be a high school app? Yeah. Like, yeah. What, what is a high school Just app? Just rattle them off. You know a few, right? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Uh, What's the hookup one? The hookup one. The hookup high school app. Oh, oh, yeah. the, the app to make high school students hook up with each other. Yeah. What is that called? Uh, I, I think it was called Jailbait, the app. <laughs> No, with each other. As opposed to Jailbait the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Which is about Jailbait the app. Oh, I know. They got they when got the acquired. Jailbait the novel by Precious. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. They got a, a acquired by Homework. Homework? Yeah, Homework. Oh man, that's that's the app all the kids love, man. They download homework and they're like, <laughs> they're like, oh man, I just find tomorrow it. morning or Mr. Johnson will yell at me. I, I can't get enough homework in my life. Am I right? <laughs> Homework's you the best. You don't know where that Johnson's been. <laughs> Ah. Use a callback to the banana thing. No, uh, okay, Johnson all right, yeah, yeah. No. Trackable yeah, Johnsons, I get it. Trackable yeah, okay. Johnsons. We can track yeah, that joke. Uh, <laughs> Justin and Bonnie certainly been around. <laughs> Justin and Bonnie, your answer of acquired is what? 
I'm beginning to wonder why Pivot was even left as an option. You said shut down. It doesn't matter. There's not been one Pivot. Not one Pivot. We've only done four. Not, 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 not enough pivoting for uh, my taste. F uh, four out of ten would not Pivot. And Justin, a Pivot was, or I'm sorry, TBH was taken, was acquired by Facebook. Nice. Um, uh, and, I can spell it too. And you can spell if you can spell it, I'll give you a point. T B H. T B H is correct. I was holding out hope. Man, I feel like one of you knows how to touch teens better than me. Mm. <laughs> Wait, no, you won that game. I know. I'm, I'm I'm good at the game, bad at the actual understanding of teenagers. <laughs> okay. Source, I have a teenager. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with Justin on this one. Justin. Yeah. I want you to tell me about Squiggle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just quit, quit, quit being so quiet on the Squiggle. Well, now, to understand Squiggle, you've <laughs> got to understand Kentucky. Uh, Squiggle. I don't know why I did the... the... <laughs> President Underwood. <laughs> Right yeah, now. I did the President Underwood voice, but for like every first sentence of a Malcolm Gladwell book. <laughs> like... <laughs> uh, now, Squiggle is remote working made awesome. They uh... oh god damn! I, can I punch this this startup in the face? Please tell me it's around so I can punch it. Uh, uh, I, I I believe that Squiggle pivoted, Bryce. Okay, what do you think they pivoted Squiggled. to? I think that they pivoted to uh uh. Online, uh, uh, to a uh, Snapchat clone. Snapchat clone. Got it. Bonnie, tell me about Squiggle. Mm. It's online. It's remote working. Made awesome. Okay. I think Squiggle died a death. Uh, it died. Uh, oh, a death? A death. Oh, that's what they died. Oh. Okay. It died, it died a death. It died a <laughs> yeah, death. Okay. So it, it shed its I, I thought they died a t shirt. Mm. Hi, oh. No. Squiggled no. in a t shirt. Right. Brian, what do you think happened to Squiggle? You, uh, you know what? They pivoted right into my fist because I want to punch them in the face <laughs> for their dumb name. Squiggle? Is yeah, but it's fun to say, though. Squiggle? Squiggle? No, and no. I'll even pre-spell it. It's S-Q-I-G-L. Uh, so you are saying pivot, though? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They pivoted into uh, 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 T-shirt manufacturing. T-shirts. Got it. Nice. And, and banging, like, hey, and who banging wants girls to, on spring do, break. Do yourself a, a favor. Squiggle your best pal a shirt. Like, just went on a first date? Squiggle a shirt. All that right. would be really creepy. I would not want to get like a custom shirt from somebody who went out. Oh, you wouldn't like, on, a, on, a, on a first date. It goes really well, and then you immediately, within twelve hours, get a shirt saying that first date went great, right? <laughs> Question mark. Ah, oh my god! <laughs> send, send emojis by T-shirt from now on. Just I, show up. T-shirt is the new <laughs> internet. <laughs> I spent the night with this guy and got this lousy T-shirt. I don't know. Man, what? How? How amazing would it be if you went on a first date and then the next day a t-shirt showed up that just said thank you for going on a date with and then that person's full name or what if what if it was like weirdly specific like thank <laughs> you for letting me grab your breast and almost finger you this yeah. is on okay. the shirt <laughs> yes this is not a note <laughs> with the shirt no, this is no, on the shirt is the you're shirt. wearing on the front. <laughs> and, and you get no, no no you give them a wrapped package and they open it and that's what the shirt, and the shirt says. says but and, and, are they and, expected and to wear this or is also this also <laughs> is very clearly at the bottom a surveillance photo of the two of you making out from the night before. <laughs> that, yeah. 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 Now this is like a night shirt, though. So it it, it is twisted sure, in the so shape like a of a rose. Cell. Yeah. So and there's, and like there's a... sponsorships on the back. <laughs> brought to you by AMD, uh, <laughs> Twitch.tv, Amazon Prime, and uh, Netflix. <laughs> oh my I, I like to think that part of the business model is that they have those t-shirt cannon guys, like just like <laughs> run in to where somebody works and they fire it at them. Like you, like you, like you hear you hear a knock at the door. And you open up, yeah. and, thunk. <laughs> <laughs> and then a guy jumps out of a ghillie suit. <laughs> Thank so you. Before, before you open the door, you just hear like. <laughs> Hello, I'm ready for this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 
Uh, that's on the back, Bonnie. <laughs> You're so cute. That's the squiggle model motto. Yeah, because that's you know why? Because that's the part I want to read while we're banging. You read the front. That's you want to read in, your so in, cute? No, yeah, yeah, it's it's reversed in the front so that she can read it in the mirror, but it's now written normal in the back <laughs> so that so that I can there's read it while we're doing it. Mirror view of her entire front. Also, we sell mirrors. <laughs> Just in case you don't have them. So we're going to a full service operation. We're committed to this vision. But we, don't, we, we, we let them be really confused at first looking at the shirt. You're like, oh, you want to know what that says, do you? And then you hold up a mirror. You're like, oh. Oh, right, because it has to be reversed. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And all the while. All right. And, I, then, and then also, uh, <laughs> Jizz reveals other things in invisible ink. <laughs> um, invisible ink? <laughs> invisible ink. Invisible ink. <laughs> That's what squiggle <laughs> fingers do. <laughs> A whole month of this Twitch. You guys signed up. Oh, for hot damn, man. Oh On fire. God. On fire. <laughs> Brian and Justin, your answer of pivot is... No! <laughs> Meanwhile, Bonnie, squiggle, shut down. <laughs> Can you imagine being a team member at Squiggle and you're like, oh, well, it's Tuesday night. Let's see what's on the old Twitch. Oh, on the front page is oh. a show. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> That's what we should have done. Yeah. <laughs> They're cheering for my company failing. How could they do this? They're bad people. Uh, it's just me, Thaddeus Squiggle, of the famous uh, Connecticut Squiggles, uh, paying attention to Twitch, as I oft do. Uh, let's look at the front page. My word! <laughs> All right, Bonnie, you can take the lead here. Yes. It's four to four with you and Justin. Yeah. If you get this right, can you okay. spell Squiggle? Ooh, 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 okay. No, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> Squiggle. Squiggle. I'm going to say no vowels. I do S Q G L squiggle. S Q G L? S Q G L. Squiggle. I'm sorry to say, Bonnie, that is not how they spelled squiggle. Squiggle is spelled S Q W I G G L, oh, like wiggle. Uh, they shut down in May of last year. Squiggle. Mm. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah. Uh, mm. But with that, the game is tied up, zero, four, and four. Hmm. A three-way tie, people. Three -way we tie. can we can make this happen. <laughs> uh, and this last one, this last, <laughs> this last <laughs> is going to be worth five points. It turns out. Oh wow! Oh, <laughs> hey, well, well, what a, what a seat grabber! So, uh, we're going to start with Bonnie on this one. Okay. All right. I'm ready. I got the eye of the tiger. All right. Tell me about cyanogen. 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 What did what what did cyanogen do? Uh, cyanogen uh, is an open source mobile operating system. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I like Bonnie's tactic. Is we're like, and are they still around? Did they pivot uh, or what did they, uh, get acquired? Now, how many points hey. can I get now? Uh, 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 Bryce, can you use that in a sentence? <laughs> sure. Uh, Awesome. I just downloaded Cyanogen. <laughs> Cyanogen. No, wait. I didn't hear your description. What was uh, it again? It is, <laughs> it is an open source mobile operating system. Mobile. So, like. So, like, you know how your phone has like iOS Linux on it? or something? Kind of. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. Have you ever heard oh. of these things? Uh, these things? Uh, phones? Cell phones? Oh. Phone. Oh. It's, oh. A, it's a software for that. So, it's like. Oh. You know, is that, uh, that 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 old that old movie with uh, Elliot, that little goblin, and he's telling him to uh, cyanogen home? Right. <laughs> that little goblin. Is that yeah, what you just uh, that little goblin e. movie where the uh, <laughs> oh, goblin he's comes out and, 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 uh, you know, and, and Elliot's around, and he's like, uh, uh, "There's hey, a I, I came out from hell. I'm a goblin. Uh, get me I've back got, to hell, Elliot. Is, I've got frisky fingers. I'm the goblin. <laughs> yeah, and he's just like, like Elliot." Hell is real, and uh, <laughs> eventually he's got to fly his uh, his bike out down to hell. Oh, uh, well, so does that, that help you with cyanogen? I think it does. I think it's, I think it's <laughs> telling me that they got acquired. 
Okay, who'd they get acquired by? By Verizon. By Verizon. All right. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah. Nice. Brian, mm. tell me about Cyanogen. <laughs> You're a tech guy. I think that if there is any merit to this game at all mm. on this last question, mm -hmm. they will be the one fucking question <laughs> that pivoted. Okay. I think they pivoted. Pivot? What do you think they pivoted to? Uh, uh real-time strategy games. RTS games. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, pay to win. Pay to win. In fact, that's the uh, name of their new game. Pay to win. <laughs> so, okay. No, they, that's that new game, Cyanogen, where uh, you know they have like ads where they look like literally every other game, but there's like a model and she's like, Busty. "You too can get the crown if you come to town, the town of Cyanogen." And you're so cute. <laughs> and then Charlie Sheen pops out and he's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you said it's pivot. Justin, what do you think? It's I believe that they were acquired by Google. You think that they were acquired Google. by Google. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Cyanogen was pivoted. Oh! I'm so cute. I'm so cute. Now, Brian, I know if you you want to do a a, uh, a bonus round, you want me to try to spell it? Do a victory lap? Can yeah, you spell yeah, yeah. C-Y-A-N-O-G-E-N. Cyanogen. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you would have been correct, except oh. when they pivoted, they re-spelled their title, their name. <sighs> they are now C-Y-N-G-N. -N. They are now working on self-driving vehicles and construction equipment. <sighs> so close. What? So close. Because, uh, of course, it, Cyanogen it, it is, was a very big Android splinter. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, good but, game, but, but everyone. Nobody, nobody told them they were cute, and look what happened. Uh, yeah. Uh, Justin. Fell to the monster. Justin saying they were acquired by Google was a close, uh, it was almost something that happened. Hmm. Uh, and then it did. Yeah, happen. when you said that, you had that confidence that was like, mm, this is a regular contributor to the Daily Tech News Show. I wonder <laughs> if I'm a little bit boned. One of my 11 jobs is paying attention to dumb startups doing dumb lemming ass shit like getting acquired or failing. <laughs> All right, well, uh, congratulations from uh, with the scoreboard of five to four to four. Brian Brushwood, you're our winner. Huzzah! It's because I'm talented and correct more often than not over time. Uh, I'll tell you what, ga Gambling Man has the right of it. By the end of it, Brian pivoted to winning. <laughs> It's a new, uh, listen, we've done some restructuring. We decided that uh, failing miserably was, uh, you know, while we loved it, and we know that the people who loved watching us fail loved it, turns out that, uh, you know, in this uh, cutthroat environment, sometimes you have to decide to win. That's great. Mm. Uh, if you've got a game or an idea for a bit, uh, send it into mail at nightattack.tv or put it in the Discord, uh, nightattack.tv slash Discord. Also, we're taking submissions for an upcoming Night Attack court bit. Go to bit.ly slash NA court. We're going to have... Night court? Can I? All right. Can I? Can we just say we'll, this? We'll do it. I know. I know. I know. I've been teasing. We've been it. working on, and 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 by we, I mean you and other people in the Discord. But Brian and I have no idea what's going on. All I know is that there is production. This has been like so long in the making. The Night Attack Court Pit. Like, do you feel pressure? Like, because because now you're gonna debut it. When we're when we're under the hot lights here, like, is there any pressure on Night Attack Court? I mean, a little bit, but I also want it to be with a good guest to act as a third person. I think it's something with with good for y'all and a third guest person, and I want to make sure it's the right person and that we get really good submissions. So, uh, bit.ly slash na court, uh, if you want to. I mean, get can, can you te if you want good submissions, can you like tease? what people should be submitting or, uh, yeah, or would that not work so it'll be like a trial so you send in things that you want litigated on uh brian and justin will be the prosecutor the arbiters and yeah so uh, <clears throat> and more, it's it's more we'll like a, a night attack forced arbitration than court sure well uh i guess so Force? There, like it's equally attack? not binding. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, I like the idea that it's binding. I, I like the idea that, uh, that that our overlord proclaims mm -hmm. from on high that, uh, that 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 our word is the law of the land. It'll kind of be yeah. like uh, Judge John Hodgman, but without any clout. So. Mm. 
There so unlike Judge John Hodgman. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Can we do this as like John Stossel and uh, 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 who sounds uh, exactly like John Stossel but is not John Stossel? You. <laughs> no, no. I, mean, I, 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 I don't I'm, have an answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, like, like, I, I think it'd be funny because both of us love doing the John Stossel voice. It would be great if we could think of a character that's not John Stossel but sounds like him, so that we could both essentially do the same character. Yeah, oh, I was thinking no, it could be Stossel and 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 Dark Stossel, like when you pick the same character twice in a fighting game. Evil Stossel oh, yeah. with a mustache. That's a good point. Oh, with the mustache. I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking. It could be the Ahoy, uh, oh, Captain Morgan. Yeah, Captain Morgan. But oh no, that's Ka- that's John. Sto- that's the John Stossel impression. I love. I love. The- I mean, actually, actually, uh, the uh, uh, Admiral Nelson is pretty much John Stossel, just oh, yeah, as an is. asshole. Oh yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It's I love- me, Admiral Nelson. I'm here <laughs> to bring maritime law and make it cool again. I love big spending. I love to tax and spend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but good game, everybody. There you go. Hey, shall we take a moment and do a little bit of uh, diamond time? That's my new. That's oh, my what? new sounder. <laughs> do a little bit of like like you're crushing all those diamonds. You're just inhaling them to give you diamond lung disease. You sure that's you weren't just like <laughs> breathing? What? No, 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 no. Like okay. like uh, Is like, that like like a, like a. Oh yeah, uh, no diamond lung disease. If if you spend too much time yeah. in in the uh, uh, in the meme mines of of new diamond con. <laughs> Uh, it it could get pretty gruesome. You're gonna get the diamond lung where you you cough uh, with with a with an excellent reverb. Well, and it's tough too because everything you spit out you make hits. Like uh, it's yeah. not just you you can't just spit it into the trash because every one is a hit. And they no, just you, run you, away. you are you are you are spitting hot fire. You know you're you're freestyling. You're uh, you're just breaking everybody down. You're 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 winning Plessy versus Ferguson. It's, it's dangerous to even be near you because uh, because the roof might catch fire and and you don't you will not be given any water. You will be told that you don't need any water and that no. you caused it <laughs> and it's just gonna burn. Hi everybody, I'm Justin and that's Brian. We're here to talk to you about diamond love. Yeah, you know what? Sniffing uh, crushed diamonds may seem like a fun hobby, but it's not. Bro, <laughs> no. In fact, look at these famous cases. Uh, <laughs> diamond, diamond snorter uh, Greg is from Peoria, Illinois. Uh, he snorted over forty diamonds, and now he's the president of the United States. Uh, the Dred Scott decision <laughs> speaks wow. for itself. Oh. It was bad. It was bad. Did uh, you hear me drop a Plessy versus Ferguson reference and then you followed up with the Dred Scott decision? I mean, uh, look, uh, history followed up with it, Justin, and before that even came up. This is hardcore history. Yeah. This Sorry, is, you're not, not used to it, Snowflake. It happened. A, I'm Dan Carlin. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the thing you have to understand, in the late 19th century, everybody was snorting diamonds. It's as though I was watching Game of Thrones recently, and there's a scene where a dragon <laughs> snorts a line of diamonds, and I thought, that's what America was like in the 19th century. Diamond time is where you can <laughs> shout out your projects right there on the Reddit. Reddit.com slash r slash diamond club. Sticky post right up there at the top each and every week means you get your project shouted out. If you're the top three, we begin with Mr. Avery. Do you like butts? Who doesn't, right? How about beautiful naked pictures of butts? Got to your attention, huh? <laughs> Though I'm not affiliated, this is a project that deserves our support. The name of the project is called 1001 Fesses which is French for butts, if you didn't guess. It's a a truly great international project which supports the beautiful backsides of all shapes and sizes and the beautiful bottoms of the female population. Whether you believe in equality, naturism, or simply like to see butt, uh, this project is something to get behind and support. LOL. Uh, They have just launched a Patreon to cover their expenses and expand their horizons, truly taking this international project to the next level. To support them and their butts, head on over to patreon.com slash 1001FESSES project and pledge a donation. They do not know of this overture to the Diamond Club family. So if you uh, contribute, uh, leave the diamond bracket signature in the comments. I do believe that this. Uh, I believe in this project for many reasons, and hope that you are inspired to give some support from their websites. Uh, you can go ahead and check out 1001 festusproject.com 
Since November 2014, we have been collecting the beauty of the female form in an attempt to address a widespread obsession, hating on our backsides, ladies. We are trying to create a visual poem by taking uh, pictures of women of all kind and bums. Sorry, could you just read all of that again and let me watch the video again? It's all right. Uh, Dragosky writes, it's that time of year again, folks. Extra Life is upon us. And the crew over at Geek.io are doing the 24-hour streaming charity marathon. The team is looking to raise $1,000 for the Children's Miracle Hospital Network over the 24 hours. And you, you fucking amazing diamond clubbers, can help us out at geek dot, or geek-io slash, or God damn it, geek-io.net slash Extra Life. If you're so inclined and instead and intend to help us out, you could join the team while you're there too. Uh, dude, that is awesome. Uh, and finally, Sherwin walks, uh, Sherwin rocks writes, Hey gang, Sherwin rocks here, AKA Claude frog, the lovely lurker in chat. So yeah, I ain't no Steven Cogswell, but my first solo album, kitchen studio monster, the greatest hits of Sherwin Smith and a few new ones thrown in just to keep it interesting is available now on all the things. Give it a spin on Apple Music, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon Music, and anywhere else. If you like it, give it a nice review. If you hate it, that's cool. Keep it real, but at least make it funny. Uh, uh, editorially, if you hate it, leave it alone. Uh, if, if you like it, give it five stars. And if you kind of like it, give it five stars. Uh, but if you really want to show me some love, join me and a few friends this Thursday as we hit the buy button in solidarity, 12 noon uh, Pacific time, 2 p.m., uh, Brushwood time, Central time, and 3 p.m. O'Doctor time, East Coast time. Uh, and if you're chilling in the woods with T2T2, let's just call it 20 UTC. $2 is the ask, but if uh, Moneybags McGirt is what they call you down to the bar, grab the entire album for 10 bucks and get half an album for free. Seriously, who puts 15 tracks on an album these days? Check it out, kitchenstudiomonster.com or yolo420.com slash kitchen swag. Thanks a bunch. Heck yeah, man. Sherwin Smith's been one of the one of our longest term uh, supporters, man. Thanks for all you do. Happy to support everything. Dude, that sounds great. Uh, and by the way, uh, one more time, if you want to get your project shouted out there on the uh, Diamond Time, then do it at diamondclub.reddit.com or reddit.com slash r slash diamond club. The sticky green post right there at the top. <clears throat> uh, shall we take a minute for the movie draft minute? Yep. Welcome to your Movie Drive Minute presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of October 23rd, 2017. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. Well, at the very least, almost everybody's on the board. So with that, let's go check the scoreboard. Team Frog Pants are in sixth place because they set their draft difficulty to hardcore. Also, they're still waiting for the first phone. Team Core Heroes are in fifth place with Geostorm bringing $14.7 million this week. Team Champions are in fourth place with the Snowman bringing $3.6 million this week, bringing their total to $75 million. Team Big and Tall are in third place with $106.3 million. Team Feline is in second place with $123.5 million. And in first place with Tyler Perry's Boot 2 and Medea Halloween bringing $22.2 million, this week, bringing their total to $133.1 million this week. It's Team Jury. And that is your Move Drive Minute for the week of October 23rd, 2017. See, the harder the harder you celebrate, Justin, the more I know deep inside you know you're screwed. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. I mean, we're, we're all screwed, right? I think Frog Pants is going to win it. It's going to be a 100-way tie for first place as everybody wins along with them on, on, the fa- on 85% of Star Wars. Yeah, you know, the the funny thing is that uh, we actually got some some good surprises. A lot of our bargain stuff has kind of panned out greater than than we thought it was. Uh, the problem is that everything is underperforming, and Boy. that would mean that even an underperformance, like The Last Jedi would have to seriously, like, there might be something wrong with a Star Wars, a Star Wars franchise underperform for anybody to even have a shot. Yeah, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, it, it wouldn't be the weirdest thing ever for this movie to make less than the first one, and uh, I think it will. I I, I don't know if but it's I going still to think they're going to win with it. Less. Yeah, I agree. I, but meanwhile, look at those grosses, man. Like nothing is doing jack ass. Like you know, the fifty four thousand dollars for something like, like the Lego Ninjago movie is crazy, uh, considering 
you know, normally there's there's something in the in 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 the hundreds when it's when they, when they move these big tent poles back to winter, like you expect for them to overperform against weak competition and ain't nothing making uh, uh, shit about butts uh, out here in the yeah uh, man ain't nothing making shit about butts. I walked around, I walked down the street, and I was like, hey man, what about uh, you want to make some shit about butts? And they were like, nope. That's yeah, man. I mean, make. I remember uh, John F. Kennedy saying, uh, uh, "Don't ask what your country uh, can do for you. Ask if anybody knows shit about butts." <laughs> yeah, dude. I think I think uh, who has Thor Ragnarok? Uh, not me. I would have liked to have had that. Yeah, Team Cord Killers. Uh, that's gonna be like a three hundred dollar, three hundred million dollar movie. I mean, do you think so, though? Yeah, I do. Uh, I do. I think we're hungry and. It's going to be light and just right for for that time frame. I, th- I think it's going to be huge. Uh, you know, but but three hundred. I mean, like again, it's just look at what everything else is making. Like nothing else is making any. I mean, really, the only other big hit that was before we started the draft was it, and it made a bunch of money. But I don't know if it made three hundred yet. Well, I'll tell you this much: it's been long enough since we've had a a, a grand slam winner of a movie that it's like I just. Like I, I have a hundred dollars saved up, ready for the next reliably decent movie to come out that I could take my kids to, and and I, I'm not seeing anything on the docket uh, between now and Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, I, I got my tickets. Right? I mean, it's like uh, that's what a, a a week and change away. That's gonna be huge. That's gonna be. I huge. know. Yeah, no, it's uh, dude, hey, it's I'm sure shit ain't gonna take him to Justice League or 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 Murder on the Orient Express. Did I make this joke last week? But uh, considering all the stuff with uh, Joss Whedon and Jason Momoa and Ben Affleck, I don't think I'm comfortable with all these people marauding the streets as a team. Ha! That's a good point. Good point. Uh, I hadn't heard any of the uh, the Joss Whedon stuff. Oh, dude. Dude, what? is Bonnie still in the room? Yep, spill. Spill it. Spill Bonnie. it. How pissed Rawr! would you if as, as an, an ex-wife, you wrote a full first-person essay to, like, I think it was the Hollywood Reporter about how big of a philandering piece of shit your ex-husband was? Aww. Like, that is scorched earth. Like, you hate that person, Right. What if what, I read? If you, if, wrote you that. if you wrote that, if you like, wrote what that. would it take? How, how, to how write bad that? would things have to go with you and Brian from right now that you would be in the a... position where you ruined his career out of nowhere with a like warts and all everything bad he's ever done, quoting personal letters that he sent to you, like just all out and out, no <laughs> holds barred. She, she would just send a photo of the T-shirt I gave her after our first date. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, no. And then he squiggled me this. <laughs> no. Oh man. So so yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, what, what? 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 Fill I mean, me in. We fill don't need in. to get into all the details. I think, but I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. It, it, it sounded like he was. He was. I don't know. It's it's a. Long he time. was he was a very. Uh, he apparently like was like oh no listen I just have. I'm like a super feminist, and I was like raised by raised by a woman. And I just like listen. I like to hang around with women a lot, and then I find women more important, and yada yada yada. And then next thing you know, she's like, "All right, as long as you're not banging all these ladies." And he's like, "Of course not. <laughs> like I'm just I'm smart. Like I like oh, hanging out so with women." Sad. And he was like, "By the way, I'm banging them, and I am so sorry. And I'm gonna write you a very Joss Whedon-y. Like if you think Joss Whedon writes well for money." Think about how well Joss Whedon writes when he's trying to talk himself out of I got caught uh, dick deep in in uh, some oh, coast. so he wrote this or she wrote this? I mean, no. she, well, he wrote a they're, an they're apology up. to her. Yeah, and published but it. She she wrote and published a this. She is wrote what it. An asshole, to, my ex husband was. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she wrote it like to sad. the rap or whatever. Like like uh-huh. she like wrote a publication and was like. Hey, would you like to have a first person uh, idea about how crappy of a husband Joss Whedon is? Aww. I don't know. I felt like that dollhouse experiment of his kind of like explained it all, maybe. Wait, wait. Oh, oh yeah, you thought it was his personal fantasy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Programmable pretty much. sex bots? Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> 
I was like, where are you going with this, Josh? <laughs> Josh. 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 Like, my name is Joss. It's on the T-shirt Joss. I gave you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should have gotten that right, and then we wouldn't Look in the mirror. Here. It's easier to read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. He didn't write Castle. That's okay. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is... Why are you taking it's so many very shots specific. right now? <laughs> so Just set fire to everything. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what. You go to one Halloween planning meeting, and suddenly you come home, you're on fire. Stop yeah, to set fire to the internet. Run on the goddamn table, squiggling us all. <laughs> uh, hey, man. Dude, I'm excited. Uh, so it's not this next Tuesday, but the Tuesday afterwards. We right. start we start our brief reign of, of uh, 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 invite a friend night. Oh, we're, we're... No, I'll tell you what. Invite a friend. If you know somebody that used to listen to this show that, that uh, hasn't watched in a while, you want to give them a reason to watch, uh, November 7th, November 7th, November 7th. That is when uh, you are going to want to be here. I want to see a bunch of old faces. I want to see a bunch of new faces. I want to see everybody being nice to all the newbies in the chat. We're going to have an open phone line. We're going to do dumb shit on this platform that nobody has ever had the nuts I'll to do. I'll tell you what, man. You know what it's going to feel like? It's going to feel like a little experiment called BB Live Show. It's gonna We're going to bring that magic back with that kind of electricity and playing with fire because yet again, we got someone suckered into thinking it's a good idea to give us a platform. Ha ha! Exactly. And it turns out it's the same platform as we were using last time for Justin.tv. <laughs> yeah, but this time, uh, this time uh, they got a t-shirt. they're bigger, better, and they got that Bezos cash. <laughs> but then they get a t-shirt written backwards. There we go. Uh, hey, man, we love you guys. You're the best people on the planet. Do us all a favor and die in a fire. Our Dave. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>